What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today we're doing another unboxing video for you guys to check out with me. I do know it's coming from Lefty EDC's uh, Knife Pass Around, so shout out to Kevin. And also, uh, this particular one is coming from A13 EDC. He also goes over knife and EDC gear content. Check him out here on YouTube as well. That being said, doing the honors today, we have the kumu pulsar xl this thing is a behemoth of a knife right here i recently just got it unboxed in the channel i'm currently carrying the heck out of this knife and honestly i'm having a blast this thing is bigger than any knife that i own up until this point so yeah there's something to be said about the pulsar xl check out the unboxing on this knife if you haven't already also there will be links down in the description for this knife and any other knife that you see in this video those links do help out the channel if you do end up purchasing a knife through those links but that is entirely up to you and at no idea additional cost with that in mind let's go ahead and cut through the thing here shall we i think the best way to get through it might be to maybe make a cut somewhere here i'm going to try to see if i can save the package as much as i can the best that i can oh, and this one here is inevitable so i'm just going to open it this way there we go which is not all the way around it it does have that really strong sticky glue right there all right so we're in the package here and it sounds like we're in for a real treat here because it sounds like we have more than one knife in here. So let's see what we're working with here. Holy smokes, quite a lot of stuff on this one. Let's check it out here, shall we? That's everything in the box. So here we have the Kaiser Kaw. The Kaiser Kaw. 154 CM blade, black micarta, uh, LBK button lock. Okay, that is one right there. Next we have the Dogfish. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting one by Caleb Waltman as a designer. 154 CM, black blade, aluminum and button lock. Uh, followed by the Sparrow, All right? This one is a Vincent Rizzo design. S35VN, black, stone wash blade, titanium handle. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. And last but not least, the BGPT, which we don't really know too many details about. This one is a debut here in the channel so let's get to it next we're going to be taking a look at the sparrow kaiser sparrow this one is a premium one since we have s35 vn on the blade there stone washed and titanium handles this one is a vincent rizzo design and it's a three point and a quarter 3.25 inch blade all right without further ado let's go ahead and get this one open this one has the more premium box unboxing experience if you will has the double doors <laughs> boxes as compared to the single out the top box experience so you know there is something premium going on on this one so this one also have a little magnet to it as well there we go and we got the lion going on there also i'm not sure if the light picks it up okay but yes go ahead and open this up same instructions on this one here as you've seen on the other ones we got the wiping cloth right there and we have the warranty and knife information i'm gonna go ahead and put it here on the screen in case you want to pause and read right there you're more than welcome to with that in mind let's see what else we have and go ahead and make some room here all right we got a velcro pouch we're gonna look at that next check this out guys a reversible pocket clip with a filler tab and a bunch of additional, are these titanium screws? You bet they are. Titanium clip, titanium filler tab, titanium screws. Okay, Kaiser is not messing around with this one, I'll tell you that. And we have the Kaiser Friday Club, right? Holding a Kaiser Sheepdog right there in the hand. Check that out. Boom. Okay, so that is what's in the box. Let's go ahead and take a look in the pouch here, shall we? By the way, this one has a nice um, Kaiser logo right here in the front. And without further ado, boom, here it is, you guys. Check this thing out. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Bam, look at this thing. Holy smokes. All right, first impressions. This is a different type of titanium that I haven't worked with in the past. Definitely titanium there. We do have steel pivot hardware. And are there any liners on this one? No, this is, uh, well, let me see. It seems like a solid titanium construction through and through. All right, this one, of course, is a frame lock and it does have a flipper and a nice little half moon hole right here. So we can deploy it, reverse flick and thumb deploy it as well. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Bam, check that out. Okay, uh, very, very nice and interesting looking blade here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Let me go ahead and give this thing a nice little wipe here, shall we? All right, let's get it nice and clean. Stonewash S35VN going on. Blackbird Blaze is the logo on this one. It is the Sparrow, Sparrow model. Kaiser logo and S35VN on this side. And flat grind going on, going on on this one up until about the halfway point. All right, this one sort of has definitely sheep's foot vibes to it. Cleaverish, cle cleaverish sheep's foot going on. Ooh, that drop action is good. All right, so check out the reverse flex. Yeah, that is money right there. Thumb deployment, that feels good too. All right, nice. Can I fill it? Okay, I guess I could if I barely put any effort, but other than that, any other time, as long as you put a decent amount of effort, you can flip or deploy it as well. Drop shot. Yes, it is very, very drop shot. Oh my goodness, check this thing out. Yeah, very, very drop shot. Good access to the lock bar. Check that out. No jimping necessary at all. It's uh, actually quite easy to push the lock bar out of the way and disengage the knife. It does have a steel insert right there for steel on steel contact, which is good and appreciated. Oof. Yes, thing is nice and centered right there. Got the cutouts here on the outside for the lock bar backspacer with the matching color as well and holy smokes it's pretty light too right very very light on the blade i have seen their stone washed s35 vn check out the kaiser hyper this one right here also has the s35 vn stone wash right there so yeah let's just do a quick size comparison then since we already have it out here the hyper on top the sparrow right below it Okay, let's toss in a few more. Here is the Dogfish button lock, which we recently unboxed as well. Here's the Kaiser Call. Check that out right there. Okay, so it's still not medium size, uh, you know, if anything, right? Medium knife size, not large enough to be a large knife, not short enough to be a short knife. Definitely a medium knife through and through. Check that out. And uh, let's do the few, let's do a few other ones, the typicals here in the channel. Here is your PM2, check it out. Here is your Para 3. Okay, so certainly perhaps more P Para 3 territory, if anything. Here's your Demco 8020.5 and the Shark's Foot Blade and the smaller brother, the Shark Cub. All right, so it's more, actually longer, more longer. Uh, I was gonna say something different, but uh, it's more so in the Demco 8020.5 territory and longer than it actually maybe like a half an inch or so or like quarter ish inch right there right you can ballpark just to give you an idea of where the knife lands got two more for you this is the model one and model two from ontario knife co all right so definitely closer to the model two although a little bit bigger and last but not least the cjrb pyrite and the Vosteed Raccoon, okay? If anything, it's actually bigger than the Pyrite and very comparable to the Raccoon, okay? So yeah, definitely Raccoon size territory for sure. So we got an idea on the size for this bad boy. We know the action is solid. Holy smokes, this thing fires really good. Let's do some acoustics. Oof, something about that thing snaps open really good. Like the sound of it. D10 is nicely tuned too. All right, just feels really good. And yeah, it provides for a very satisfying opening and close experience indeed. So the other question is, since this is just an unboxing and first experience, first reaction, let's do a very scientific paper cutting test. I got the eight and a half by 11 copy paper cut in half. Let's see how it does. <laughs> yeah, that is certainly going to slice, no doubt whatsoever. Holy smokes. Yep. This thing is sharp. And keep in mind, it's not brand new out of the box or anything. It certainly has seen some use and it's still hanging on. Pretty, pretty sharp, it seems. You get a feel. Oh, yes, that blade is still ready to go and very, very bitey edge as well. I got some everyday cardboard here. 
pull up sniper box single wall let's do some cutting tests here remember when cutting cardboard don't cut perpendicular like this but at an angle like that and it's gonna look something like this holy smokes well we know that flat grind is going to put in work it's not a full flat grind you know but it does cut slice really really good for sure you guys rate it in the comments on a scale from 1 through 10. How sharp is this guy? How much of an edge has it retained? Let me know. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the Kaiser Sparrow premium folder here. S35VN, stone wash blade, titanium handles on this one. Reversible pocket carry frame lock going on. Awesome action. Tune really, really well. Obviously, we know it's going to perform. So yes, this guy will be linked down below as well as any other knife that you saw in this video. It does help the channel if you end up purchasing a knife through those links, but that's entirely up to you and at no extra cost. So make sure to check those out for details, prices. I'm not sure exactly what the price is on this one. Again, this is my first reaction to the knife here. So I will be carrying it for about uh, some time, maybe a little bit over a week or so. We have before I have to send it forward to the next YouTuber in the knife pass around. Again, shout out to Kevin, AKA Lefty EDC for the opportunity to check this one out. I will be dropping a comprehensive review video here in the very, in the very near future. So if you're not yet subscribed, this will be a great time to subscribe to the channel. If you like knife content like this, I promise you it will be worth coming back for more. Smash that like button if you haven't already. It really helps the video and the channel as a whole get pushed to a larger audience. We are 4,000 subscribers strong. We're trying to make it through 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year 2024. We're going out of strong. 2023 was a very, very successful year. So we're coming back back harder this year by the way chances are the unboxing for the dogfish this other knife right here from kaiser is also available in the channel this one has 154 cm with the aluminum handles awesome also very fidgety butt lock edc knife from kaiser check it out i put a video card right here for you guys to watch that one next guys thank you so much for all your love and support by the way if you made it to the very end right here this point right now you are the real mvp thank you so much for all your love and support checking out the videos liking the content commenting all that good stuff really appreciate every single one of you for all that you do and all your support hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one peace